Okay, we are broadcasting and we are recording. Let's just go on to sleep. <laughs> uh, is that too hot or above? It's probably just too hot. Um, it could have just, it's either a blown bulb or it's overheated. Yeah, it's going to be a bit dark, I think, isn't it? Yeah, you don't lose it too much. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, you don't gain a lot of light there either. Can you guys see that screen or not? My face. Is like <laughs> That's really <laughs> funny. I'm getting the. All right, we're in there enough. That'll do. Okay, here we have James Neal, Drew. What's your last name? Cooper. Drew Cooper, and Lee Blackall, and we're here just talking about the UCIP mini conference coming up in uh, what seven days now. And what we wanted to say two things: a bit from James and me about how and why we've gone about setting it up, and then quite a lot about the most excellent support we've had from Drew in getting us the connection and the ports open so that we can live stream the event through Ustream uh, without any hiccups and we've got the uh, wireless set up, set up in the room so everyone can be able to connect up and tap into the Twitter channels and stuff like that if we get anything like that going. So uh, James, maybe a bit from you, why did we set this up and uh, what's the background of it about? Uh, well I think this will be the first conference that UC has had with uh open streaming and uh, open wireless access for participants. So I think it's part of the message for uh, talking about intellectual property and what universities are here for, which is to share knowledge and information um, as openly and freely as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been a long haul, but... Um, well, you've been, you've <laughs> been trying to do that since 2005, I think, I remember. Yeah. I mean, Chipping in on that debate yeah, for a while. Yeah, and you know we've always had bits and pieces, but uh, I think since you've got here, it's become that much more possible for us to envision that uh, that we can do it. It's not just me; it's the timing because the IP um, policy is up for review as it happens just now. So that's just good timing, and yep. we're just pushing that review process and trying to get some consultation in on that process. Yeah. yeah okay. And um, and the cooperation of ICTS, who's uh, who are. I mean, Drew, Drew, you were saying we're about to uh, get wireless across the campus in the first next couple Full of months. Full upgrade, yeah. Um, that should be a vast improvement on what we've got now. Uh, mostly, it'll be much easier and a lot more devices will be able to connect. And pretty much from that, they should be able to even stream from their laptops if they want to. Um, it just basically opens up the whole world to any student or staff that comes on campus. Yeah, yeah it's really exciting for us, eh? Because um, up until now, we've had a few little issues with proxies and firewalls, still trying to get files out to YouTube and stuff like that. But no sooner have we uh, made mention of that, and it just so happens that all of that's going away. So, so it's amazing to think that um, what we think is amazing for us to do next week but students will be able to do what we're doing now from the refectory or from out on the grass or uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much spontaneously from, yeah um, from their phones or yeah. whatever yeah so hopefully uh, this is uh, the first of a few of these sorts of things mm. that will happen spontaneously around the place might take a little while to get people going on the whole idea mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, but what do you what do you reckon drew like there is a formal Echo 360 system, which is a lecture recording system, but we can't do things like as quite as flexible as this and stuff like that. Yep. I mean, is it okay that we use Ustream and stuff like that from, from ITS? Oh, we can't see any reason why not. I mean, to be honest, a small footprint um, does what you
easy to do uh, if you know how to use it. Um, you know, for me it looks pretty simple, straightforward. So plug in your device, turn it on, and away you go. So I can't see any reason why not. Yeah. And Drews has been really supportive from the get-go. Jeff, uh, Jeff Rosenberg, Rosenberg put, put me in touch with Drew, and it's just been a green light ever since. And uh, in the space of a few days, yeah. uh, we've been able to get this running. Yeah, well, uh, no barriers whatsoever. So that's great. Thank you, ICTS. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Drew. No problem. And look at him. He's, he's sitting down on a new screen <laughs> with the satellite imagery behind us. I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Can't ask for much more. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're all set to go. We'll see you all in uh, seven days. Yep. And um, we've got some pretty good lineup, actually. We've got um, Wendy Brady from Nunnall, who's going to talk about um, uh, you know, knowledge sharing and management from the perspective of um, Indigenous communities. Um, and we're hopefully going to get somebody from the Islamic community to talk about uh, Islamic perspectives on um, knowledge sharing and, um, and uh, management and stuff like that. Naturally, we've got Queensland University of Technology's Creative Commons is coming down to talk about Creative Commons Australia. Uh, James and myself to talk about open academia yeah. in UC context. Got the parliamentary librarian. Parliamentary librarian. So the Australian Parliament has just gone um, uh, Creative Commons with their collection. Mm -hmm. And uh, we might have Kate Lundy or someone from the office there, but they're a bit tied up with their mission to America at the moment. Um, oh, yes, and of course, uh, John Howard talking about uh, intellectual property commercialization. Yep. Uh, and I think one other person from the research perspective, commercialising research. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be an interesting kind of dynamic between those who want to share openly and those who want to commercialise and maximise, capitalise on, um, on IP. Mm -hmm. That's the end of our video. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Drew. No worries. Thanks.